that comes from you, our Father, in your eternal word. Inspire our ways of learning through earnest, fervent prayer, and let our daily living reveal you every Baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit from age your holy way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we begin to celebrate today the feast day of St. Margaret de Uville, a woman religious, the first Canadian born saint, and the foundress of the Sisters of Charity, let us take a moment and turn to God and ask for God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God. God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. God of mercy and compassion, who led St. Margaret de Uvel to embrace the way of the cross and to devote her ardent love to assist the needy of her day, make us bold like her, we pray, so that we may imitate your own compassion and have the strength to persevere until the day you call us to share the joy of your saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. In Christ, we have obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In Christ also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, you were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance to our redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Praise 
praise the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Happy the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all human beings. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the crowd had gathered by the thousands, so that they trampled on one another, Jesus began to speak first to his disciples Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, that is, their hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, his authority to cast him into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid. You are more value than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are being told very clearly here whom we are really meant to fear, the one who can truly separate us from God, who can truly throw us into hell. Now, what does it mean in practice? We are celebrating today the feast day of St. Margaret de Jubel, and I think that many of us have also begun reading Pope Francis' encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, we are all brothers. There's a link between those two and the one fear that we must really pay attention to. The true fear that needs to keep us on our toes and be attentive is the fear to fail to see the face of a brother or a sister in a neighbor in somebody reaching out to us for help. The true person who can, the true evil that can grasp us and separate us from God is giving up on the hope that we can indeed reach out in fraternal love to everyone. You may think that saints like St. Margaret de Juvel or the encyclical by Pope Francis are naive. Can we really fundamentally change the way the economy or the political system works? Quite possibly, no. But remember that 
the quotation that Pope Francis uses in order to start his encyclical is a quotation from a writing by Saint Francis, where he reminds all of us to follow Christ, to be a brother to each other like Christ was a brother to us, to walk in Christ's footsteps, even if it means the cross, to accept his suffering as our own suffering, and to accept that we too are called to live in this way, to be brothers and sisters to each other, not because we count on actual effects in this world, but because we believe that Christ is risen to new life, and that we can already live this new life here and now. We can indeed be brothers and sisters to each other. We can indeed open our hearts, not out of expectation for worldly success, but out of expectation that the love of God is with us. We do not have to fear being naive. Indeed, very few men or women are as realistic as Pope Francis in his writing of the encyclical or St. Margaret de Jouvel in her choice of dedicating her life to service. It's the realism that sees the world as it truly is. God's love poured out into all creation and inviting us to share in that love by recognizing our brothers and sisters as people we ought to help, we ought to love, we ought to care for. Realism is to see the world as God made it. Realism is to see Jesus Christ and walk in his footsteps. In this way, we can truly be brothers and sisters to each other and live in the fullness of life together with Christ. Hey, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept the offering of your church, O Lord, on this memorial of St. Margaret, and from it grant us the wisdom and strength for the work of serving our neighbor in unity and in joy, through Christ Amen. our Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down yours, but upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that he felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church but throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Christian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you Take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my, my soul, soul shall, be, shall healed. be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Love is patient, love is kind. Never jealous, never proud. Never seeking for oneself. Love never leads to anger. Where there is love, there is God. The love of God has gathered us together. and forgiving, taking no delight in wrong. Love rejoices in the truth, love will and you. Where there is love, there is has gathered us together. Alleluia. Many things will pass away. There are but three things that last. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is love. Where there is love, there is God. The love of God has gathered us together. 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that the sacrament of which we have partaken may lead us to show your kindness and your compassion to all and prepare us for the joys of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.